and I will continue my study of trees that grow along streams and floodplains. And I am at the Antliet Davidson Nature Preserve in Clinton County, Ohio. And this is a stream, a small stream. It's eh, midsummer here, a little trickle coming down it, but not a lot and very close to its headwaters, so this is not technically what you'd call a floodplain, more like a place where the floodplain trees have made their way up out of the major valley that this stream drains into. Just a few miles from here is a major tributary of the Little Miami River called the Todd Fork, and these uh, sycamore trees have made their way up this little creek valley, so they will be found even in these smaller uh, valleys. And they do grow on hillsides, and they tend to invade old fields, too. So sycamore is not strictly a floodplain tree, but it is often found in floodplains and along these smaller streams, and sometimes achieves a very large size. And this is the two-foot diameter sycamore right here with some rough bark that almost resembles a black cherry, except it is not the same color. It is more of a... The color of a graham cracker. Just ignore the white paint there. That's a trail marker. Right across this uh, wooden bridge here, we have some other sycamore trees here. So the mature bark itself, unless you look up, might confuse you with maybe a black cherry, except for it is a different, different shade. But here's our texture. Little flakes, maybe a quarter to a half inch in size that flake off off a sycamore tree and as you look up it looks like the paint has peeled off this tree it's like a house that has been painted many times and the first layer of paint underneath all these layers is the white paint so here's a smaller tree here that hasn't established itself quite as well with the mature bark the whole way up you don't have to go too far to find the peeled bark and what looks like white paint underneath all that. Let's do a little zooming in here. And you can see those white blotches. You go from the brown bark that's peeled first to like a grayish green layer underneath. And then underneath all that is a very white bark. And the further up you go, the more white it gets. And if you get a really large tree in the winter time, the, the branches look completely white at the top. We'll save that for another day, but these are uh, common. And I've already commented on the foliage at the uh, Eastwood Metro Park. So that's uh, what we got for the bark of a sycamore tree.